All right, guys. Try to do an Im an impromptu uh, fixed blade collection here. I uh, don't have enough room on the table setup that I want, so I'll probably pause it in a sec here and go on to some of the other blades. So first, we have the K-Bar Heavy Kukri. I'm just showing the choppers first. This is a Thai Aranek Enep. And uh, this one was from a buddy of mine from Thailand. When you get them there, they're a fuckload cheaper. So this thing, I think, ran them a whole six bucks in country, whereas uh, online they push them up to 40, 50 bucks. Not worth it for that price. It's just a piece of leaf spring banged on, but um, good enough for the price he got it for. And then this uh, K-Bar Heavy Bowie, I believe they stopped production of this, but this was also one of my first big blades. So, Alright, through the magic of the internet to continue this fixed blade collection, I'm going to pause and be right back. Okay, alright, part two. So these are medium sized fixed blades. We've got a few of the K-Bar US Marine Corps. Learned my lesson, they're good knives, but not really um, nearly as real, um, useful as something like the Becker BK-16, which is a lighter weight knife, better sheath. And uh, the ergonomics just lend itself to using it for outdoor stuff. So if you want a knife fight, okay. But uh, I don't knife fight. Okay. Uh, and then the Ontario RD4. Pretty beefy blade. I think they uh, discontinued these also. Here's the sheath systems that come with them. The best one out of all of them, in my opinion, is the Becker BK-16 sheath. Because this extra pouch, uh, you can carry a multi-tool or sharpening stone or any extra stuff that you want. And all the rest of these just kind of weigh too much when you're hiking to me. So the BK-16 ends up winning out if I want a hiking blade or a camping blade that doesn't weigh me down. So... Alright, I think I'm going to be able to get this all in in one more take here, so I'm going to pause the video and get the rest. And we'll try to finish the video now with the rest of the fixed blades. Uh, this one I didn't put in the last one by accident, forgot I had it, still use it, love it. Um, just a little bit of dirt or whatever on it. Um, Buck Mesa, I did a review on this, love the blade, hate the choil right here, but everything else on it's perfect. Um, and I think they stopped making these, uh, or at least Walmart stopped carrying them after they clearanced them, so I don't know if that means that they're just coming in a different configuration now. Uh, everybody has to have a Mora. This one's probably seen more use than any other knife in my collection. Okay, cheap Gerber, not worried about it when I go camping type knife. Uh, we have the Buck Pack Light, we have the BK-14 from Becker, and then these two are kind of like my prize ones. So this is a Wilder Forge with clear jade... Um, I'm not sure what the handles are actually made of. They're not G10, but they have liners in them and everything. That was a deal where when he was just starting Jason, he did these for such a crazy price. I couldn't pass it up. Then this is kind of the gem in the collection. So this one is a Kim Breed. And he made these as a run on um, the high road for him. And he said, I'm not going to make them fancy. You're going to see plunge lines. And we all said, we don't care. Just give us something that you made. And uh, Kim Kim did amazing work. All right. Fixed blade collection done.